Now to our exclusive interview with the new CEO of Walmart, Mike Duke. It's his first since taking over the nation's largest private employer. If you want to know how the economy is really affecting the average American, he's the guy to talk to. Walmart is America's largest private employer with 1.4 million associates in the U.S. Each week, 140 million people visit its stores shopping from a selection of 140,000 products at an average location. What customers are buying and not buying can tell us a lot about the U.S. economy. You liking the job so far? Mike yeah. Duke was recently appointed CEO of the 4200 store retail giant. You know, you're starting to hear, Mike, some optimism, some small signs of optimism from people like Larry Summers, from the president himself, who, who speaks and says, we're seeing some glimmers of hope that perhaps the bottom has been found. As the CEO of America's largest retail employer, private employer, do you agree? Is the worst over? Actually, I think, Matt, we all want to be hopeful. We're all looking for a better day when we start to come out of this. I will tell you, though, in talking to our customers all across the country, I think there's still a lot of stress. Uh, I think with the job security challenges, the unemployment where it is, uh, so this may be a trailing impact. Maybe there's some period of time from seeing the first data points uh, to actually translating to the 140 million Walmart customers around the country feeling it as they come in our stores. Welcome to Walmart. Thank you. It's good he to took me on a walk around a brand new Walmart in suburban Philadelphia to give me a snapshot of what he's seeing in consumer trends and how Walmart anticipates and adjusts to those trends. What's going to be the indicator in terms of a product or products that's going to tell you that you're going to call your friends and say, you know what, we're coming out of this recession? Right. Well, I do think that, first of all, I don't see us coming out of this recession as a, just not a B recession where we will just bounce out and come back. This is one that is going to take a sustained change in the way that families live and their focus, even in food, whereas in some cases more expensive cuts of meat have been down, and when some of that starts to come back, then they'll be... It's, it's uh, fascinating. You, know, you never stop to think about that. If people are buying the low-cut right. of meat, they're right. saving a buck if exactly. they feel confident enough in their jobs and everything else right. to go out and splurge on exactly. sirloin. Exactly. What we see is at the end of a month, when you, it's just before traditional paydays, the customer is in that situation where right. they've only got a few dollars to spend. So every two weeks you see peaks and valleys. That's when right. they get their paycheck, they're in here spending. Exactly. When they're at the end of that cycle, they're scrimping and saving. And then at the end of the month, uh, then they're able to come back in and stock up their pantry and buy what the customer needs. A lot of our customers are moms. They are running the household. They're trying to get their family through these difficult times. This is another one of those things. Infants and children's apparel is much stronger in sales than adult apparel. What that says is mom and dad will sacrifice, but we're not gonna cause our baby, our children, to right. sacrifice in uh, what they wear. But then even basics like diapers, at the first of the month, when the customer has the paycheck, they will buy a larger pack of diapers. But then at the end of the month, they may not wanna be able to, to buy the large box and then, They'll switch to a small it's box. It's amazing yeah. how, how yeah. specific your research is, just how much you know about really the day-to-day -day lifestyle decisions and economic decisions of these families. Well, of course, we think it's just part of our business. This area here is one of the areas that's doing really, really well for us. Some would say, wouldn't electronics, uh, flat screen TVs, wouldn't this be discretionary? Right. Uh, why would customers be buying a Wii right now? It's interesting because I think customers in some ways are cutting back again on that outside entertainment. Many families are cutting back on vacation. I find it interesting that in a bad economy, an area that does well is vitamins. That's right. It is interesting, isn't it, Matt? But in some ways, I think there's a psychology with our customers today that I need to take care of myself. I need to be healthy. I can't afford to be sick. Exactly. I can't afford to be out of work. I can't afford to go to the doctor. So I can take vitamins that are not as expensive and maybe stay healthy. I read a, a, a study recently that said something that like 65 or 69 percent of consumers say that if they can't afford to pay for something right now in cash, they're not going to buy it. They're not going to use a credit card. How's that impacting your business? Are you seeing that, first of all? Yes, first of all, we are seeing more cash as a percentage of all of our sales at the registers. Yeah. More customers are using cash. 
I do think, Matt, part of it is because of that conscious decision, but I also think part of it is many customers just don't have any other options anymore. With 1.4 million associate employees that earn an average wage of $10.83 an hour, Walmart now faces a threat to its corporate model. There's proposed legislation on Capitol Hill that would make it easier for unions to organize employees, the Employee Free Choice Act. It would do away with secret ballots, and, and some people say, unions say, it'll make it easier for American workers to earn a fair salary. Others, like the guy who runs Home Depot, uh, the co-founder, Bernie Marcus, says it's going to cripple American business. What's the truth? Well, of course, we're opposed to that. We have a unique relationship with our associates. Of all of our managers across America, three out of four started with the company as an hourly associate. Ninety-five percent of our associates across America have health care insurance in some fashion. It's really one of those bills that would be damaging to the American economy long term. Probably expect that response from Mike Duke, the new CEO of Walmart.